In this Jasper review video, I'm going to be showing you the new AI art feature Jasper has just released. If you want to check this feature out, I've left a link below that will gift you 10,000 free credits so you can have a play around. Now, if you're not sure what Jasper art is, it's basically a built in AI functionality that will generate pictures based on your input. And I'm going to give you a few examples shortly. Let's just quickly jump over to the tab and I'll just walk you through it all and then we're going to have some fun so if you head over to art this is the dashboard now these are the areas where your input information and to the right is where your images will generate you also are able to toggle the basic and the free form so the free form is basically you just going absolutely wild whereas the basic gives you a lot more guidance and if you can't think of certain things it will help you out so very quickly they add a default description just to help you out so this default description is sending data via wi-fi signal space background high quality stars so this basically means we are telling the system that we want a picture that shows sending data via a wi-fi signal with a space background and with really high vibrant quality stars then if we move under the style so you have all of these options so you can have a 3d render a cartoon pop art retro etc and then for the medium this is kind of like the canvas or if you want to uh, with chalk or pencil sketch the artist style so if you like pixar and you, you like that style style uh, creativity it will design it based on famous artists or famous styles of the artist. If you want it to display a certain mood, whether it's depressing or scary or frightening or gloomy, etc., this is where you change that. And then your keywords will be uh, kind of like telling it, right, the final thing is I want this in black and white or I want this as a close-up or I want this as high detailed or photorealistic, etc. So what we're going to do, we're going to quickly just write something. Now bear with me because I'm pretty new to this as well, but I've gotten some pretty cool results. Pirate fighting a skeleton and then I want to add some swords. I want it to be on a boat. At night, I want fire, water. Actually, I'm going to get rid of water. So we're going to change the style and let's go ahead and do retro. And then the medium, let's go ahead and try glass. For the artist style, let's do Van Gogh. That might be interesting. The mood, I want it to be exciting. And keywords, I'm going to do, um, let's do photorealistic. And let's go ahead and do create. Go ahead and have a look at these images. So we open this one up and that is pretty cool. He's not fighting, but we've got the the pirate boat in the background and uh, that's, that's actually really cool. Let's have a look at this one. And this is very much Van Gogh sort of style. So that's quite cool. Let's go here. Okay, so you've got two zombies there. So it's, it's not really picked up the theme that I want a pirate fighting a skeleton but it's picked up everything else which is quite cool and if we go here that's that's cool as well so what i'm gonna do let's um let's regenerate this and let's change the style to maybe andy uh yeah let's go ahead and do andy uh, we'll change the mood to let's go frightening and photorealistic let's go ahead and do just realistic and we'll do create okay here we go this is a bit cool so we're going to have a look at this and you can see we've got the pirate there and there's a fire in the background and he's kind of fighting some skeletons if we move on to this one i have no idea what's going on here but it's still it's really cool art and these are actually things that you could use in your own projects if we look at this one uh, I, I'm not sure what's going on that's not the best but the actual quality of the images there that's the, the, the quite high quality and then we've got this one here as well okay so let's go ahead and go to the freeform one and we're going to get rid of this now I've gotten up a few pictures here because we're going to try and uh, redesign these pictures Okay, so the first picture is a dog. I also want to try and help you with the idea of how to generate these things. Okay, so we're looking at this picture of the dog. So we're going to break down this dog. So we see a dog sitting down with sunglasses on. 
He's wearing a dressing gown. He's got a, a bowl of popcorn. He's got a control. He's looking pretty relaxed there. And the background is him on a piece of furniture. Okay. And this is exactly this, how much detail that we need to give the software. We need to give Jasper to uh, recreate this. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say um, dog sitting on its back wearing a dressing gown uh, with paws in bowl of popcorn wearing sunglasses now the background i want the background to be on a let's say on a bed so a bed background teeth showing pixar cartoon and 4k okay so let's go ahead and do create okay so let's have a look so we've got this dog in the, the manner of a pixar sort of style so cartoon etc and it's got its popcorn and uh, it's not showing its teeth but he's wearing sunglasses or some form of binoculars it's quite cool it's got his little tongue out let's have a look at this one uh, yeah okay it's actually funny that's kind of a similar dog to the actual image let's have a look at this one. Oh, that's a good one wow that one's really detailed the eyes are a bit odd and then we've got this one where he's smiling. Okay, that's really cool. Let's go ahead and change um, cartoon to, let's say, the canvas. Okay, and we're going to do create. Okay, so we've still got it in the uh, the Pixar style. So let's just have another look. That this dog's actually in the bowl. That's pretty funny. This one, again, uh, not sure what's going on there. <laughs> this one that's quite cool and then this one uh not sure what's going on let's get rid of pixar and let's try again okay let's have a look okay so it's not so cartoony anymore so we've got the dog there now that's actually really cool that's a good picture we've got this one there so you can actually see that the the dog is no longer cartoon and then oh no that's a good one i like this one so let's just change one more thing so photo realistic instead of bed background i'm going to uh, just get rid of the background and do create let's see what this comes up with okay here we go so this one it looks like it's got an eye in its mouth <laughs> let's have a look at this one that's odd but quite cool this one yeah it's like dogs talking and then this one okay that's cool we've done that let's go ahead and move on to the next image which is a family sitting at a table enjoying their meal and it's this one here that we're going to be doing and what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to basic because i'm still not um entirely sure of all the keywords and everything so it's a good way of learning uh, what you can put in the free form just by constantly following all of these okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to clear the input and we're going to start with a description so the description is going to be um a black family sitting at a dinner table in the kitchen laughing and eating and then we're going to do food we're going to do a brunt background of water uh, baskets of bread plates with food okay and um, we're going to change the style to illustration and then for medium let's go ahead and do modern oil painting artist style uh, let's go ahead and try south park that might be fun and then we're going to do a calm environment and for keywords photo realistic and do create okay so well so they propped on south park style that is so cool so you can see we've got the food on the table um these are quite scary looking characters we're going to change the theme in a second but that's actually really cool can you imagine offering um these sort of services you know south park style etc now that doesn't look very calm so we're going to change this to none and let's just go ahead and do create okay so we're still on the modern oil painting so that's that's really nice look how nice that picture is and if we move on to this one it's scary but you know it's definitely got all the elements that we wanted and then here that's a nice one the faces are a bit iffy but here wow that's that's so cool okay so let's change it from model 
oil painting so uh, let's just do none and see what happens okay so it's given us a few variations and this style is illustration so we're going to move that next but again that is so cool these are these are really good and can you see how the more detail you add it the better the quality image actually gets so let's move the illustration let's change that to none and just do create okay here we go so the face is a little off but if we give more detail to the face then that might correct the issue but here i mean that <laughs> it's getting the overall theme right it's just there's a few issues with the images but a bit of photoshop could correct that okay um let's just change it from photorealistic to highly detailed and do create okay here we go this is better and this actually isn't too far off so the faces look a tiny bit stretched but you can actually fix that easily and then here again the laughing this is an all right one bit scary the faces and then here that one's probably the best okay so let's go ahead and now change and do our last image which is captain jack sparrow fighting another pirate pirate fighting another pirate with swords wearing actually let's change it to dressing gowns as well so dressing gowns and braided we want a wheel barrow wheelbarrow uh, we want swords and we want dust okay now let's go ahead and change the style uh, let's try let's try abstract that would be cool uh, let's leave all of that as it is artist style let's go ahead and try dr seuss um let's try let's try aggressive and the keywords we're gonna do high resolution and create okay well this is cool so we've got two uh, pirates fighting there we've got the dust we've got the swords yeah that's really cool um and i think he's actually wearing a dressing gown there and he might have a, a little i'm not sure that that one is a dressing gown but this one is uh, let's look at the next one okay the face are a bit odd but you know not too far off that's quite cool they're properly in action and that's a good one as well let's go ahead and change the let's change aggressive to let's say stimulating and then do create okay that's quite cool that's a weird one that's a that's quite that's quite abstract and again that's that's a weird one <laughs> let's change it from abstract to 3d render uh, let's change this to frightening and we're going to make it photorealistic we're going to change that to none and let's do create okay so we've got this one it's a bit discombobulated this one looks more like a game no not impressed with that one okay so i thought i'm gonna just try something really quickly so i want to get kind of like a close-up a headshot of a pirate so I've just gotten a description here so I'm just gonna copy this description I'm gonna paste it in here and just type in uh, pirate face sneering upper lip mouth okay and then for the keywords I'm gonna change the keywords to close-up and then the mood I'm gonna do a uh, dark and the artist style I'm gonna leave that as it is and we're going to leave this as it is and the style again and let's go ahead and see what this brings okay so this is quite weird it's got some weird stuff there let's go ahead and change the style uh, let's try pixel art and yeah so let's do create okay and that's quite cool if you want to uh, create some nfts let's go ahead and change it from pixel art to pop art and do create that's quite cool let's go ahead and change the full face to full face portrait uh, pirate face close up close up sneering up a lip we're going to change this to uh, non again and let's do create okay this is cool so that's a really cool picture there let's uh go on to the next one very weird but again it, it kind of works let's try this one that's a cool one as well and this one as well that's really cool let's change it to photorealistic and do create okay <laughs> i'm not sure that's quite photorealistic but <laughs> that's just weird that's quite a good one actually and that was jasper's new ai art feature now they are this is currently in beta so they're constantly developing it and it's literally like a week or so old from the release date so you saw the source of results that we got and you can improve the outcome drastically by giving it more and more detail i think this would be absolutely amazing for blogs or 
any sort of content creation that involves you needing to include images. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.